cinematic test reveal in CapCut, just like this one. Alright, quickly, let me show you how to do this in CapCut right away. So the first thing that we are going to do is to launch our CapCut application. Once we open the CapCut application, we have to go and tap on new projects. So once you open a new project, we go to our photos and select any photo or picture at all in our gallery and use it for this tutorial. So in this case, I'm just going to select this one over here and tap on add one and we go. So once we are here, the next thing that we're going to do is to make sure we change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 right here. So we tap on a check mark and we have it over here. The next thing that we're going to do is to tap on this image we've imported and make sure we scroll down here to opacity and reduce the opacity to zero like this because literally we don't want the picture in the video. So this is what we are going to have over here. Let me increase the duration to let's say five seconds. Yeah, I think, okay, seven seconds is not bad, but yeah, that is fine. Now, the next thing that we are going to do quickly is to add a test. So we tap on test, tap on add test, and here we add whichever test we want to add. In this case, I'm just going to add a test review. All right, I think that's perfect. And let me just make it capitalized like this. Okay, so the font that we're going to select, I'm going to use the elegant font over here because I want it to be big. So I'm going to use my two fingers to pinch it to reduce the size a little bit like this. And I think this is perfect for me. Good. Once I'm done with that, I'll just tap on a check mark and come back here. Make sure I align the test with my image. Now, for us to do the test review, we need to add a masking effect to it okay but when you select the test like this you will never see the masking option as far as you are using the mobile phone to do this editing right so what we have to do now is to make sure we export this particular editing over here as a video so we tap on exports then it will quickly export for us once the exporting is done we go back and tap on done and we proceed from there so quickly let me tap on done then we go ahead and create a new project this time around we are going to go to video and import the video we just exported all right so once we have our video imported like this the next thing that we have to do is the final part which is going to make the cinematic test reveal easy one so we have to first of all select the video over here on a timeline once we select it we come down here and we locate the masking tool once we've selected the masking tool the particular one that we are going to use is mirror so once it is here we tap on a mirror over here then we use our two fingers to adjust this right and using the two fingers you rotate it to 90 negative 90 degrees then you close the gap right so once you close the gap you use this arrow over here right you use it you push it a little bit away okay to create this cinematic look once you're okay with this just move this to the beginning of the test right here like this then you tap on this keyframe animation over here okay this is a keyframe animation so you tap on it it's going to add a keyframe at the beginning of the test now the next thing that you have to do is just move to somewhere the middle of the test let's say like this then you come here and move your masking tool to the end of the test then you could see that what a new keyframe has been added automatically move a little bit away again and bring back your masking tool this time around you can increase it a little bit to make sure the test is showing a little bit more then you just move it to the back over here right and after this you, the last one you're going to do is to make sure you reveal the test so, so to reveal the test we are going to increase it this way you're going to make sure we open up this masking effect to reveal the whole test for us this time around because this is the last part right so once you are done with this you are going to just tap here and tap on a check mark so you have something like this all right so we want to add some filter we want to add some other things to me to make it look good right so what we're going to do is i'm going to tap on effects over here go to video effects 
then i'm going to select glitch all right i'm going to select glitch to make sure like i just want to make sure it's a little bit you know cinematic so i'm going to scroll down and locate glitch all right i have a glitch over here and i'm going to select it once i select it and it is being applied i'll tap on a check mark over here of course i'll move it to almost getting to the end of this then our limit here right so let's play and see what we have now and maybe you want to add some sound effects that would be perfect so we go to audio then we tap on sound fs over here we just select whatever we want to use right okay so let's assume this is the sound i want to add so i'll just tap on the plus icon over here then the sound will come so let's play and see all right so i'm just going to cut the sound right here and delete the remaining one so this will be our final work once i'm done with this the next thing for me to do is to just export it and voila that is it so thank you so much for watching this video and if you find this video educative and helpful kindly go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button on this video and i'm going to see you in the next one